Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to share with you an article that was posted by Mark Rackley. I hope I pronounced his name. And he actually introduced a, a possibility to show on a page, uh, just like we have a collapsible uh, section, we can also have a possibility to take the section content and to put it into tabs. So in this art article that I will share, actually we can go to the download here. We click on it and it will bring us to a OneDrive. We can download the solution. I have downloaded it. And actually what we need to do is to the, go to the app catalog of the tenant. Now, if you don't know how to get there, you can go to the uh, administration center, to SharePoint, and you can also go to more features, and we will have here the apps. Now, if it will create the app catalog, uh, if you don't have it, now there's a, a new interface. This is the modern one, but you can also see it in the classical way as well. Uh, if we check it, if I go back to classic experience, we can see it just like that. Let's try the modern one because it's cool. So actually after I downloaded it, uh, let's try to upload the solution. By the way, you need to have a tenant uh, uh, administrator at least, or at least SharePoint admin. So actually I will choose this and I will upload it. It's out. And now I will need to deploy. So you see, it asks me uh, to enable this app to all sites or only to, to enable the app. So let's enable the to all sites. In a previous uh, classical way, uh, you I think you could only deploy it uh, on the tenant and then you needed to activate it on each site separately. So we say, we see it here, it's called modern Healy Billy tab. So what we need to go now actually is to a team site. Let's go to a team site. Here we are. Let's create a new page. Okay, let's take a template and we'll create it. And you see here, let's give it a name. And you see we have here sections. So um, the standard uh, web part, actually, we can have in a section, if we choose a section, this is a section we have, actually. If we go here, you see that we can make section collapsible. And this will actually uh, show us uh, in, in a way of our coding. So actually, let's try to do this and so save it. And you will see that it's actually, um, if I click here, it will open it. If I close it, it will open. Um, now, uh, what we want to do is actually to show you how to work with the web part, the new web part. So let's take the, the a section that has here information and let's, um, okay, we can define how uh, the section will be. Let's make it all in one section. So this section actually has three images and we want to show them as tabs. So what we will do is actually we will go to the top of this section. I'll go here, click a plus, plus, and let's look for modern. We see that the modern web part is here. Here there's some information about uh, the creator and instructions how to set it up. So we'll click on this pencil. Here are the names of the section class and the web part class. We should not take change that. We'll click on manage tab labels. Now we can actually uh, choose uh, all of the web parts and give it a name. And according to that, will actually also um, be able to present it in the tab. So we don't know exactly what it is, but let's call this, um, this will be HR. And uh, let's another, add another one. Here we are. 
let's do web part two and we'll call this IT. Here we can add another web part and let's call this PR. This is enough, I think. Let's add and save. Let's close this and let's publish. Let's see what happens. Now you see this page actually has HR. It has uh, IT and each one of these is actually showing the image. Now the images here are a bit uh, large. So uh, maybe we can uh, change that uh, just so it looks better. So uh, let's make it smaller. But uh, you can actually uh, get get the po whole point of that. So we can just make it much smaller. Uh, it's not working. So let's just uh, leave that. So actually, this is the functionality that we see here. Let's uh, publish again. And uh, so you see it saves uh, lots of space. Uh, we can actually uh, even delete what's not needed. And uh, this is the example. So it's very simple. So I'll put in the show notes actually the link where, where to lose, take down the solution, where to upload it, and uh, that's it. So hope you enjoy it and test it by yourself. Goodbye.